so now on to question number seven. So it looks long, but we'll go through it. A student is examining a bacterium under the microscope. So the E. coli bacterial cell has a mass of M equals 2 femtograms, and then they do the conversion to grams, and assuming at a velocity of V equals 5 uh, meters per second, with an uncertainty in the velocity of 7%. E. coli bacterial cells are around 1 times 10 to the 6, I believe. Yeah. In length, I don't think that's important anyways. And then the student is supposed to observe the bacterium and make a drawing. However, the student, having just learned about the Heisenberg uncertainty principle in physics class, complains that she cannot make the drawing. She claims that the uncertainty of the bacterium's position is greater than the microscope's viewing field and the bacterium is thus impossible to locate. What is the uncertainty of the position of the bacterium? Okay, so let's just write down everything that we know so far. We know the mass of the bacterium, 2.00 femtograms, but I'm just going to convert that to grams, like what they did as well. But for the equation that I'll be using, needs it to be in kilograms. Let's just convert that to kilograms. Okay, so this is our mass. Uh, they also give us the velocity, which is 5.00. I think it's supposed to be uh, micrometers per second, but then I'm going to convert that to meters per second. Yeah, every time there's like a weird symbol there, I assume it's like micro. And then we're looking for delta x in meters. Okay, so after we write down everything that's given, we know that the uncertainty in velocity is 7%. So from there, I'll make it delta V e is equal to our velocity times 7%, so 0 0.07. So our uncertainty in velocity is now the 3.5 times 10 to the negative 7 meters per second. Okay, so next I'm going to write down the equation for the uncertainty in momentum. Basically, this is delta P. And delta P equal to mass times the uncertainty in velocity. So I'm just going to plug the values in. Then you get a final value of 7.0 times 10 to the negative 25. 
and the units are kilograms times meters over seconds. And lastly, for uh, Heisenberg's uncertainty principle, Uh, it's the following equation right here, where it's delta x, which is what we're looking for, is equal to h over 4 pi times the uncertainty in momentum. So that's the delta p that we just calculated. So h is Planck's uh, constant. So it's 6.63 times 10 to the negative 34, and its units is kilograms times meters squared over s. Then I'll just plug in everything else we know. Okay, so you can see that uh, one of the meters cancels out, kilograms cancels out, and then the seconds cancels out as well, leaving delta x to have a final value of 7.54 times 10 to the negative 11 meters. Okay, so they also wrote down Heisenberg's uncertainty principle. They have the mass to kilograms, uh, delta V, multiplying that by the 7%, and then plugging it into the final equation to get 7.5 times 10 to the negative 11. So this solution is correct. Okay, so on to question.